What's going on guys, Fodrimal101 here, back with another of our international challenge matches for you. So today we're going up against Marfi. Marfi's bringing with him, uh, he's finally something a little bit different from the standard teams we've been seeing. Uh, Ree's running a Vicavolt, Mudstyle, Arachnarid and a Lycanroc. So, um, love, mud, love me some Mudstyle and Vicavolt. I actually told you the idea of running an Arachnarid on this team, but in fact let's swap it out for Polito, because Polito gets some fun stuff. Uh, and Lycan Rock is super cool, we don't see too many of those on the, in VGC at the moment. Uh, we are bringing with us uh, Lord Bulu himself, Tapu Bulu, Orphanar Mararak, Captain Salty, uh, Politoed, and Swarm uh, Vicavolt. Forgot his name for a minute. He comes to every match, you sort yourself out. Um, we're going to jump straight into this one, guys. Says me, Rabbit in on. So Marvi he was going to open up with uh, Vicavolt and Mudstale. Um, so a lead of these myself many, 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 many times. Um, we are going to open up with Marak and Boo though. I kind of figured he might try that lead. Um, as I say, it's usually it was my go-to lead when I ran these two, because you can just discharge for free. Um, these two kind of count that pretty well. So um, we're going to go straight for a Z-move, because why the heck not? Bulu's here. Bulu's coming in. Bulu is just going to come in there and do Bulu things. Because this is what Bulu does. Uh, we're going to get some Bloom Doom on the go. Um, so Mudstar's going to take this. And while Mudstar is bulky, Mudstar's not leaving a Bloom Doom from a max attack. Um, abdomen max attack Bulu. No chance, no. Mudstar's gone. Sorry, Mudstar. Uh, so poor old Mudstar goes down there. Didn't really get a chance to do anything from that match. Um, as Vickerbook goes for Acrobatics, that's a new one on me. And just physical Vicavolt, or maybe he's just got it on there for coverage. Um, so we just go for a big old Flare Blitz. Um, so we're just going to go straight in here and pick up the KO, because you know why the heck was not. Um, so we're plus, we're, he's down to his last two mons on turn one, so that's a pretty good sign for us. We'll take it after some of the matches we've been having recently. And Grassy Train's going to give us our hit, uh, health back, which is pretty handy as well. Um, still prefer Finners, I think Finners is probably one of the better ones. Um, Arachnoid's going to come out. Now, I do, talk, do kind of want to run one of these myself. Uh, and Lycan Rock is... I do like Lycan Rock. I do like me some Lycan Rock. Which Charlie Ford is super cool. Uh, we're going to go for a Protect with Marat, protecting the incoming Stone Edge or Warp move. Uh, as Lycan Rock actually goes for a Fire Fang, did not know it got one of those onto Bulu, but Bulu's got some bulk, so we should be okay. Uh, Arachnoid goes for a Waterfall. That will be into Marat there, so that's pretty good for us. As we just go for a big old Horn Leech on the Lycan Rock. Super effective. Um, he's going to one-shot it, unfortunately. Lycanroc not having the best bulk it is pretty fast and hits hard, but it is fairly fry. Bye, dog. Bye-bye, dojo. Um, Bulu nearly back up to full, actually, as well, which is pretty good for us. Uh, as is Marak, so unfortunately it does heal your opponents. That's the only problem with this one. Uh, so there it is, four on one. So uh, we're going to switch Bulu out. We're going into Vicavolt here. Um, I think this would be a pretty much free switch in. Uh, and we're going to double switch out, bring Marak out and go into Politoed. Um, as Drizzle kicks in. So, uh, we actually make a bit of a rock for our own back with this switch, but I wasn't particularly ready at this time. And we brought Captain Salt in here just because I want to tie this match up and make sure we, are, we can 100% win it. As he goes for Elite Seed on Vicavolt, which doesn't do too much. Um, Politoed's going to go for Protect this turn. I figured he might try and target us down, um, but he does instead go for it and burn his Z-move into Vicavolt. So we've got Z-moves all over the place in this bid. Felt like we haven't seen any. Um, so far, um, Hydro Vortex kicks in. Uh, it does target them for our Vicavolt. And while it is neutral, we aren't going to walk away from that one. Uh, but Marak can now come back in here as that's been burnt up anyway, so. So, we've got Boodoo in the back here, so we're going to protect with Marak this turn, predicting the waterfall. Um, what we are actually going to do is we are going to perish some with Captain Salty. Salty, as our actually goes for infestation. And because while Boodoo's in the back, this, this will pretty much tie up the game for us. So now what we have to do is stall out three turns against this thing to win, but we will go on the offensive anyway, but this is just almost like a, a guarantee. That noise is so funny. 
Well, what the hell was that going through? Uh, Perry's capital is free on all of them. Uh, his grassy train is going to disappear. So if we need to, we can always switch and switch again. Are we going to go for a protect on the polytoad? I'm predicting maybe a leech, leech life or something. It does in fact just target their mara and one shots mara. So um, that's fine. We can just go into the Bulu. <laughs> As Captain Swords is going to keep making that silly noise. Uh, we can't switch about anyway, so. Uh, but Bulu, who did not hear the Parish Count from coming now. And so we've got options here. We can just protect. Um, protect store the count out or we can just go on the offensive. So I think we are just going to. I'm predicting a leech life on Tabuli, uh, which he does go for, which does a decent chunk. On Tabuli, sorry. Does an okay amount, it's not great. As Horn Leech is going to kick in, that is going to do a butt ton to the Arachnid. Nearly picks up the KO. As Polytope this turn goes for a score, which will just nicely polish this scarf and tie up the game for us. So uh, we probably could have got away with not going for Potion, but we'd lost a couple back to back at that point, and I saw the opportunity there to at least get a guaranteed win by making that play. So that's the one we went for. Did store the match out a little bit, but it was definitely worth it. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure to leave it in the comments in the comment section. I always try to reply to them. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more content. If I don't see you around, guys, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye.